listen Do your own math And learn from the stuff that you are missing Create your own path With your own vision Hey This is Rodney Porter For a very special edition Of Homeless Not Helpless TV Today's show is entitled I Got My Place Today's show is entitled I Got My Place Today is actually the anniversary of me being homeless. I don't celebrate it or anything, have parties. It's just a very important day in my life. Today's date is entitled, excuse me, today's date is October 20th, 2010, Wednesday. It's a very, very special edition of the show today. Six years to the damn day. I've been homeless, living in my car. Friends allowing me to stay here and there at their place. Just recently. And on the anniversary of my day, I have here a rental lease. Of my first place. Yes, I know I'm 45 years old. And this is my very first place. But it's a wonderful place. It's a environment very conducive to raise my two kids. And on a show I did in the past, message to my kids, I mentioned how however long it takes for me to find the right place, not any place place that you find impulsively or you just want to get out of the street or get out of your car and then when you sign the lease you're upset because you found the wrong place so I'm the type of person I do research my mom taught me and teaches me still to write it down before you open your big mouth know what you're talking about first do your research and my research is hands-on before the advent of computers where you can go inside, see the neighborhood, see the rooms, and have all that. You fill the tank up and you find out where you want to live and you drive down every street. And you write down the number, you write it down. The address, where it's located. You know, you might feel you're wasting gas, but when you lay your head, that's where you want to lay your head at a safe environment that you took time to drive not ask people you might ask for an area but drive door knock call the police department find out the type of incidences that might happen be it crimes robberies carjackings if that's the area that's the unit that's the place on the weekends, Friday, Saturday night, block away from your prospective place. You sit down there and you see what goes on, what type of activity. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it quiet? This is a super, super quiet neighborhood. A neighborhood where, again, it's expensive. But if you drive in an area where it might be 1200 or 1500 you might get lucky with an 800 or a 900 not often but if you drive every street you'll come across a few that might be in your range and uh, I did actually
actually I was passing some flyers out. I'm very familiar with the area, but I was passing some flyers out. Saw for rent sign. Lady called me. Left a message. And uh, I'll say about a month from this point, a month ago, she's been talking to me. I've seen her. We've talked. She knows my situation. And what's so ironic, why well, I know I'm destined. The guy in the back has been homeless for seven years, living in his car before he got there. The lady that lives right next door is one of my new clients because I was passing some flyers out. They had a block party, so I passed the flyers out. Uh, about a week and a half before that, somebody else called me two or three blocks over in the same community. So come on. God is always working. And for me having my place, having the right place for my kids to walk and play. If we want to go down and walk down the street and get some ice cream, we don't have to worry about getting shot at. Or I grew up in the hood. Love South Central. That's where I reside in my whole life. Proud of it. But you also want to get out and, and have it better for your kids. So it's safe. That's all I cared about. And it gives me a year's time with this renter's lease to be able to do what I need to do and focus. Because you haven't seen anything yet. I know you probably hear me yapping and stuff. But I feel that anytime I say something, it might catch on. It might stick with somebody. So I'll condense my yapping, but I'm a yap about something. And having my place is all part of personal growth. Always believing you can fight this and beat this. Survival skills. Doing what you have to do. Yeah, I dig in the trash can. I'm not proud of it, but I was able to pay for some things my kids need. Shoes, clothes, books. Whatever. It, it doesn't matter. I work at all these different situations. And you will continue, continually see my progression but this is a big day for me and how ironic on the day I became homeless is the day I turned this renters agreement into my therapist and they'll give me a deposit and I'll be ready to do what I need to do grow and expand as a person so if I'm growing and expanding, anything that I do grows and expands. Homeless, Not Helpless TV will grow and expand. And I want to do it the way I want to do it. I like to grow and expand gradually. Not all at once. I'm not trying to hit you and knock your head off all at once. You're going to say, what was that? No. Totally different mindset that I have. I'm here to help, not for an instant. So always remember, you've seen it. I haven't got my place first, and then I tell you about me being homeless. I, the producer blessed me with this project. Again, I told him I was writing a book. And he said, turn it to a TV show. I have a TV station, hey, blah, 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 blah. You never know. You can at least help somebody and it's therapeutic for you to get it out. God is so good. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing me to be strong and hang in there and not listen to what people say. You need to get a place now. Okay, where you go? Blah, 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 blah. You're not living there. My kids are not going to come if they're scared. So I got to bite the bullet because I know it's going to be all right as long as you be smart along the way. Use common sense. And you're going to see me fall, you're going to see me triumph. Because I'm going to tell you about it. I'm not going to tell you all the good stuff. I'm going to show you some bad stuff. But it's going to be good for you. And more importantly, for me. So, this is a new beginning for me. And I'm just happy to have this opportunity before I turn my renter's lease in 
to share with you guys out there. However many people that listen, however many people that comment, watch, tell someone, or don't tell someone. Just be thankful that we're all alive to be able to hear somebody like me talk about something. But it's important. There's too many of us out here and they're younger by the minute being homeless. I, I, it trips me out. I can't believe it. So, uh, I'm not done with this crusade of doing all the things I want to do. But this is first and foremost for me on my plate to make a difference and help. And no bullshit. Help. Give money. Do what I need to do, but help. Inform. Give information to you guys. But help. I want to thank you. I want to thank God Rodney Porter, Homeless Not Helpless, TV. See you guys.